in this question one end of a half ring of mass m is hinged to nail a when the ring is set free its diameter max angle theta not with the vertical as on the first figure this is the first figure another nail is now driven into the wall vertically below the former nail like this it is here at a distance that is equal to the radius of the ring and this uh, vertical distance from a to b is equal to the radius of the ring and the ring is left resting on the lower nail as on the second figure like this assuming friction to be absent everywhere there is no friction anywhere and acceleration due to gravity to be z find horizontal and vertical components of the reaction force of, of the upper nail on the ring in the second case so in the second case we have to find what is the horizontal and vertical component of the hinge force in this particular situation so in the first situation if if you see the first situation then there are two forces there are two kind of forces uh, acting on this uh, the ring one is due to the hinge which we can call it as hinge force and uh, other forces due to gravity so there are only two forces one is hinge force and the gravity and this is in equilibrium this is resting in equilibrium there is no translational there is no rotational net torque or net force here so if we take torque about this point a then obviously the torque due to hinge forces will be zero so torque due to hinge forces will definitely be zero here and the other force is gravity and the line of action of gravity must pass through this point a point of hinge then only net torque can be zero so there can be two forces one is hinge force and one is gravity and hinge force is obviously passing through this hinge so torque is zero and a line of action of gravity must pass through this hinge so let us draw the diagram here where is the center of mass center of mass will definitely lie somewhere lie on this line on this vertical line there should be line of action and somewhere here there will be the center of mass so center of mass is somewhere here so i am assuming the center of mass is somewhere here and uh, we can just draw this line also which is passing through the center of curvature of this semi circle which is here so obviously this force is mg so line of action of mg is passing through a and hinge forces are passing through a so net torque will be zero so using this we can uh, find the value of theta not also suppose the radius is equal to r here suppose radius is equal to r and uh, this is center of mass distance of center of mass from the center of curvature we must know this is 2r upon pi for a semi circular ring so this is 2r upon pi and uh, we can find tan theta naught here so tan theta naught this is equal to 2r by pi divided by r so definitely it is 2 upon pi so we can use this relation if we don't know this theta naught so we can use tan theta naught as 2 upon pi from this uh, condition given for the figure 1 now in the figure 2 it is slightly it is rotated like this and uh, there is a nail now here there is a nail at this location and the ring is resting on this nail so let us draw the freeboard diagram in this situation suppose a freeboard diagram this nail is definitely exerting some force this nail is exerting this uh, some force and that force can have two components one can be friction that is along tangential direction and one can be the normal direction obviously along the normal direction but in the question it is given that there is no there is no friction assuming friction to be absent everywhere so this nail can only exert the normal reaction and that normal reaction must pass through the center of curvature so suppose we have center of curvature somewhere here so let's say this is the location of center of curvature and uh, the normal reaction will be along this so normal reaction will be along this and normal reaction suppose is passing like this let us draw the line ab also this line ab is in the vertical direction something like this so this is the line ab 
एंड दिस लाइन हैज लेंथ इक्वल टू द रेडियस सो जो ए बी है ए बी यहाँ पर रेडियस के इक्वल है सो दिस इज इक्वल टू द रेडियस ओबियसली दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर लेट से दिस इज ओ एंड फ्रॉम ओ टू बी अगेन दिस इज इक्वल टू द रेडियस सो दिस लेंथ इज अगेन इक्वल टू द रेडियस एंड ओबियसली ओ टू ए इज अगेन इक्वल टू द रेडियस सो दिस ट्राइंगल विल बिकम इक्वल टू ट्राइंगल एंड ऑल दिज एंगल्स आर सिक्सटी डिग्री सो ऑल दिज एंगल्स आर सिक्सटी डिग्री सो दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ नॉर्मल हियर नॉर्मल इज एक्टिंग सब थिंग लाइक दिस एट पॉइंट ए वी विल हैव हिंज रिएक्शन एंड हाउ द हिंज रिएक्शंस आर पासिंग सपोज दिस इज द वर्टिकल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ दैट हिंज रिएक्शन सो दिस इज डिनोटेड बाई वी एंड दिस नॉर्मल विल हैव सम हॉर्जेंटल कॉम्पोनेंट इन द राइट डायरेक्शन एंड देर इज अनदर फोर्स एम जी विच इज ओनली इन द वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन सो दिस नॉर्मल हैज हॉर्जेंटल कॉम्पोनेंट इन द राइट सो देर मस्ट बी अ फोर्स विच बैलेंसेज एंड इट शुड बी टुवर्ड्स लेफ्ट सो हिंज रिएक्शन मस्ट बी टुवर्ड्स लेफ्ट हियर सो दिस इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ हिंज रिएक्शन एंड दिस हिंज रिएक्शन is towards left now we are left with one force uh, which is gravity here and gravity is obviously vertical from passing through the center of mass so gravity where is the center of mass here the location of center of mass so let us just denote that location center of mass will be somewhere on this uh, line which i am drawing something like this so center of mass will be somewhere on this line so center of mass will be somewhere on this line and uh, that distance is 2r upon pi from here so that distance is 2r upon pi from here and suppose center of mass is somewhere here and uh, mg is passing through the center of mass something like this so we are having center of mass at this uh, location and this force is mg so we have drawn all the forces so there must be translational equilibrium there must be rotational equilibrium of this ring so and one more thing from the geometry angle in this semi circle angle made by diameter at any point on the semi circle is 90 degree so this is vertical line a to b this is vertical line and if i join b to this end of this circle so this must be horizontal for the angle to be 90 degree so angle yahan pe 90 degree hona hi chahiye to ye jo line main yahan pe draw kar raha hu ye line yahan pe horizontal aani chahiye kuch thoda sa diagram ko let us just uh, manipulate a bit तो इसको मैंने थोड़ा सा मैनिपुलेट यहाँ पे इस तरीके से किया और ये जो पॉइंट है ये पॉइंट बेसिकली ये एंड पॉइंट ही है दिस इज़ द एंड पॉइंट ये यहाँ से एंड पॉइंट को ज्वाइन कर रहा होगा प्रॉपरली डायग्राम जो है वो उस तरीके से बना हुआ नहीं है अदरवाइज एक प्रॉपर डायग्राम अगर होता है तो ये जो हॉर्जेंटल लाइन मैंने ड्रॉ करी है वो इस एंड से जाएगी तो सेमी सर्कल में जो एंगल है वो नाइन्टी डिग्री होता है तो ये जो एंगल ए बी एंड सपोज दिस पॉइंट इज सी सो दिस एंगल ए बी सी मस्ट भी नाइन्टी डिग्री इट इज इन दिस सेमी सर्कल so uh, as we have obtained this angle is 60 this angle is 60 this angle is 60 and obviously now this angle will be 30 degree so let us write the equation of translational equilibrium so net force along horizontal should be equal to zero and horizontally we will have the component of this normal reaction which is n cos 30 and this n cos 30 is balancing this h so we will have n root 3 by 2 this is equal to h this is our equation number 1 net force along vertical direction equal to 0 so in vertical we will have this uh, vertical component of hinge reaction and this normal component of this normal reaction vertically up and this is vertically down so we will have equation something like this v plus uh, n cos 60 which is n by 2 here and this would be equal to mg so this is our second equation so we have written this uh, two equation and we are having uh, number of variables as three v h and n we have three variables so we definitely need one more equation and that equation will come from the rotational equilibrium of this ring 
so net torque is zero and net torque uh, we can take any point but we have to take a convenient point and i am taking this point as a so net torque about point a should be equal to zero so net torque is zero we can is they write the torque of this uh, normal reaction normal has two component this is uh, n cos 60 and this is n sin 60 and uh, the torque will be due to uh, the torque due to this component of normal reaction which is n by 2 here and this is root 3 n by 2 here so due to this n by 2 definitely this is passing through point a and torque will be zero so only torque will be due to this component of normal reaction and this component multiplied by this perpendicular distance which is definitely r so we can easily write the torque of this normal reaction obviously torque due to this h and v will be zero so now we have to write the torque due to this mg and for writing this torque we must find the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance from a to the line of action so what is the line of action here this is the line of action just extend this and we have to find this distance and to find this distance uh, i am drawing i am doing some construction here I am drawing this line, this vertical line. This vertical line with the diameter will always make this angle 60 degree. Just like this here we have 60 degree and here we will also have this angle as 60 degree. This angle is 60 degree. Let us calculate this distance. This angle is 60, this is 30 and this is again 60. And this distance from O to this uh, center of gravity or center of mass OG, this distance is definitely 2R upon pi. And uh, to find this distance from G to let's say this point is P, so GP, this distance is 2R upon pi cos 60 and this is R upon pi. This, this GP is equal to R upon pi and we can find this total distance from here to here from this b point to this distance so this total distance uh, is equal to this ob is r and this uh, angle is 30 so this is r cos 30 so from here to here where to where from here to here this distance is r cos 30 little bit of uh, calculations so this is root 3 r by 2 this distance is root 3 r by 2 and from this total distance of root 3 r by 2 we have to minus this distance so let us uh, minus this distance which is r upon pi and this will give uh, this distance so this distance will come out as let us write this distance here so this distance will be root 3 r by 2 minus r upon pi so just balancing the torque about a so torque of this root 3 n by 2 so torque of root 3 n by 2 is can be calculated using root 3 n by 2 multiplied by r and this torque is in what sense this is anti clockwise and torque of mg obviously clockwise so mg multiplied by what is the distance here is root 3 r by 2 minus r upon pi obviously clockwise and anti clockwise torque must be balanced on both side we can see r is cancelled and from this simple equation we can find the normal reaction this normal reaction is this normal reaction will come out as mg and this root 3 r by 2 root 3 by 2 will be cancelled 1 minus this is 2 by root 3 pi so this is the value of this normal reaction and from normal we can easily find found this uh, value of h for 2 upon pi we can also use this relation 2 upon pi we can write as tan theta naught so this normal can also be written like this this is mg 1 minus tan theta naught by root 3 we can also write it like this as answer is given in terms of theta naught so i am using this so once we have calculated n so this h is equal to we can easily found now h this h is equal to n times root 3 by 2 so just multiplied with root 3 by 2 this is root 3 by 2 mg 1 minus 10 sorry 1 minus 10 theta naught by root 3 so this is the value of h for v 
we we have to just write it as mg minus n by 2 and mg if i do minus n by 2 this is mg by 2 1 minus 10 theta naught by root 3 let us take mg by 2 as common so this is uh, 2 minus 1 plus 2 10 So this is 10 theta naught by root 3. So this final answer is going to be mg by 2 1 plus. So this is the answer for vertical component of hinge reaction.